Kyogre Go TCG. Okay, so this is Zorark Jam a uh, Zorark Jampa deck list. Um, this is Danny Altavia's um deck list, but without one card. It's changed a little bit. So we're gonna start out with the basic four zero moonless madness one. Um, it allows the first attack is um. Uh, your opponent is now confused, and the second attack, I don't think you're ever going to be using it, so I'm not going to go over it. So the second, so the next thing is Zorarks. Those are one of the main cards in the deck. Um, it's so good because of Mind Jack. Mind Jack is 10 plus 30 more damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And it's only for two colorless. And Stand-In is really good. It allows, um, once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch this, um, Pokemon with one of your active Pokemon. So, you can always attach a Floatstone and just use basic, um, basically, stand-in, and then retreat back to whatever you want. If I said Russian, I meant stand-in, but... So, now we're gonna have two Zorar Breaks. Zorar Breaks, um, have 140 HP, and they're, so, um, for one energy, you can choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks and use, um, it as, um, your attack. Um, and that's really good, especially against Metagross, where if you attach a Fighting Fury Belt, you can do 180, or not a Fighting Fury Belt, a Choice Band, you can do 180, 180 damage, or if you're going against a Drampa, you can do 180 um, if you have any damage on your bench. Speaking of Drampas, we're going to have two Drampas. Um, just, we're going to start with two, we're not start, we're going to go into two Drampas. Um, it has one, it has 180 health, it's a GX, it's first attack, for one colorless energy, Righteous Edge, 20 damage, and you get to discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Second attack is for three colorless energies. It does 80 damage plus 70 more, um, 70 damage if there's any damage counters on your bench. So you can pair that with Magma Bases. Okay, so we're going to have two Tapu Leles. Tapu Lele's go without saying that this is one of the best cards in format. Its first, or its ability is that you can, when you play this card from your hand onto your bench, you can search your deck for a supporter, reveal it, and then put it into your hand, and then shuffle. And its first attack has 20 times the amount of damage attached to both active Pokemon and this damage, this attack isn't affected by weakness or resistance. And the GX move, we're not going to be able to do it, but it's heal all damage from two of your opponent's bench Pokemon for a Psyche Energy. This kind of replaces it for Evil Tall. It replaces Evil Tall in this deck. We're going to go with one Shaman. Uh, setup really is all you use it for. It's when you play this Pokemon from your hand, onto your bench, uh, draw until you have six cards in your hand, and then sky return, double colorless, uh, for 30 damage and return everything attached to this and this card into, back into your hand. Just gonna slide this over. Um, the next card is an Oricorio. This is mainly for against a Vespaquin matchup. You don't really have to put it in, but I think it's a really good card. Um, for a colorless energy, uh, for each Pokemon in your opponent's discard pile, put one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. So if there was like eight, I could, against Vespaquin, I could knock out a Combi for 40 and knock out another Combi. Uh, and then the next or other attack is Revelation Dance, both for one colorless energy. 30 damage if there's no stadium in play, this attack does nothing. And it has 90 HP. Um, the next 
Pokemon is Tapu Koko. It has 110 HP for a double colorless or two colorless uh, flying flip. This attack is 20 to each of your opponent's Pokemon. And its second attack can't do. Not gonna go over it. It has free retreat. That's really good. Um, flying flip is m mostly just to do 20 to everything. Um, next is the last Pokemon is Oranguru. Um, its abilities, um, it ability is once during your turn before you attack, you may draw cards up until or cards until you have three cards in your hand, and then its attack, 60 plus 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. It's decent, but I wouldn't recommend um, using that attack. Okay, so the next, so we're going into supporters now. So we're going to start with four Sycamores. Discard your hand and draw seven card. A staple to any deck. Um, three ends. Um, each player shuffles his or her hand into her deck, then each player draws a card for each, um, his or her remaining prize cards. Uh, two Lysanders, switch your opponent's active Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon, just to get that, uh, Pokemon that you want up, uh, to win the game, maybe. Hex Maniac, um, one of the best cards in the game right now, or one, best trainer in the game right now. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, each Pokemon in play in each player's hand in each player's discard pile has no abilities. This includes cards that come into play on that turn. Next is a Professor Kukui. It's just a really good card in general. You can do 20 more damage and draw two extra cards. Uh, so it's attack, it's um, not attack. It's a, an a ability in a way. Its use is for, you get to draw two cards during this turn, your opponent's act Attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's act active Pokemon. Alright. Next is teammates. So if, let's say your RN Guru got knocked out last turn, you can search your deck for any two cards, uh, any two cards that is, or up to two cards, and put them into your hand. And you don't have to reveal them. The next and last for supporters Pokemon Fan Club. So, um, especially in this deck, this is a b better card than Bridget. I see why people like Bridget in this deck, but I think um, if you have a Team Magma Secret Base, Fan Club's gonna be a hundred percent more or hundred percent better. Um, you don't have to play him straight um, from your deck, so you can just um, put him in your hand and then play him, play it down. So you can get that 20 damage on the bench. Okay. So we're going to go into item cards now. We're starting off with um, four Venus Seekers. Um, this, um, the usage is for, um, is put a supporter card from your deck discard pile into your hand. So you can just get any, um, any supporter you would like if you discard if you discarded it. Um, next, we're gonna go in Ultra Balls. Ultra Balls are just good in general. Um, always been really good. You get to discard two cards from your hand if you do. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck afterwards. Um, the next is a tool card. It's Choice Band. Choice Band is an amazing card. It allows you to do 30 damage to your opponent's active GX or EX Pokemon. And you can attach that um, to a GX or EX and still have the same effect. Next, we're going on to Float Stones. Uh, two of those. Uh, float Stone makes aware whatever this is attached to, um, it, does, it has no retreat cost. Which is always good. Next we have two rescue stretchers. Uh, you get to choose one of them. Uh, one of the, the first one is put up 
Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. You could play a 1-1 Super Odd Rescue Stretcher, but I think you, won't, you don't need to put your Dark Energies back in all the time. So, that's why Rescue Stretcher is better. So, Field Blower um, is just to discard a combination of tools or stadiums. Uh, it's always good. You sh it's a staple in any deck. Uh, so the so the next one is a special charge. Shuffle two special energies from your discard pile into your hand or er, your deck. So if you're running low on um, special energies and you basically discard all of them, you can just use this and get them all back. Basically, all of them back. So the last two trainers our Team Magma Secret Bases. Um, this card is just to do 20, to get 20 damage on your bench. It'll, whenever um, a basic Pokemon was played from his or her hand to um, his or her bench, put 22 damage counters on it. So later then you can use Berserk on Drampa. Um, that was um, all for trainers. Next, we're going to go into energies. So we're going to have four double colorless energies. It's basically a staple for anything that needs double colorlesses. Four of them, usually, or three of them. But four is especially good in this deck because you can use Flying Flip, uh, st Mind Jack, um, and Tapu Lele's attack for all two energies. So that's always good. So we have... Four double colorless energies, and our last card in our de this deck is four dark energies. Dark energies are for foul play, attaching um, your ener energy to one of your energies to your trampa and attaching a double colorless, so you don't have to use two double colorlesses on it. And for or or Oricorio's attack, and it just um, it's just a staple, basically, for basic energies in all de in every deck. So that was it for the deck review. Um, one of the best decks in format right now. Uh, on our page, one of the posts from me is best deck ever question mark, and I showed this list. Because it really is one of the best decks in format, and you can't really deny it after two top four, or one win and one top four in regionals, um, with no changes of the list. So, I'm not, sh I'm not sure if um, you can really deny that it's one of the best decks in format. It's just really versatile, and I give it four, four and a half out of five stars, because there's that off chance where you can just go off and then just stop. It doesn't have the best end game, but it has a really good beginning. So thank you for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe, check out our Facebook page, and goodbye. Thank you to Yeti Gaming for supporting our YouTube channel. Kyogre Go TCG